The GSD has made its submissions via its chairman, Robert Vasquez. Mr. Vasquez says the party is conscious of the need for unity in Gibraltar and will heed the chief minister's call for such. However, he says unity is dependent on three factors – leadership, definition of the common purpose and inclusion. Mr. Vasquez says the GSD looks forward to taking part in Parliament's Select Committee for Brexit and developing a bipartisan approach. Mr. Vasquez says it may well be that fluidity at the land border with Spain and freedom to provide services won't change, but it's likely that the detail and how to achieve these things will be subject to developments. The University of Gibraltar has made its own submissions, arguing that over 30 percent of its research income was expected from EU funding. It will be asking the UK to be included in any EU research and funding programmes like Horizon 2020, after it leaves the Union. The university also says the free movement of people, including students, is vital to its business model. And Brexit could have a negative impact on recruitment of international students. And Professor Andrew Ganessa, who is expected to complete the oral history study of Gibraltarian identity this coming March, has told the House of Lords there is considerable anxiety among his interviewees about the consequences of Brexit. He says a closed or hard border would have huge economic and personal consequences. And Gibraltar presents the UK with considerable humanitarian and political risks. The chairman of Equality Rights Group Felix Alvarez argues that Brexit is a very different beast when viewed through the eyes of a young parliamentary system like Gibraltar. He says without the many checks and balances provided in the mature Westminster system, the 2006 constitution is handicapped and the numerical majority of the Gibraltar government leaves the rest of parliament unable to influence outcomes. In his final recommendations, he says backbenchers should be included during constitutional reform and that Westminster's legislation regarding Gibraltar's adoption of international laws should be improved. The House of Lords also sought an opinion from an independent international human rights consultant, Susie Allegre from Doughty Street Chambers in London, who says Brexit will ultimately be about people and the way they live their lives. She concludes that both the UK government and the European Union have a duty to see that the people of Gibraltar's interests are protected, given the scale of the impact Brexit will have on them.